What's up, desktopers? In this video, we're comparing Chris Bumstead Seabum to Ramon Dino from the 2022 Classic Physique Olympia in 8K footage, courtesy of Gilco Productions as well. Plus, we break down, does Chris Bumstead win every single pose? We look at his bicep injury in 8K, plus much more. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy this episode of Who Wins on Desktop Bodybuilding. <laughs> What's up, desktopers? Xavier Wills here for Desktop Bodybuilding, and we are back with another video. And today, as I mentioned at the start of this, we're comparing Chris Bumstead to Ramon Dino from Brazil from the 2022 Classic Physique Mr. Olympia, where Chris Bumstead obviously ended up winning that title, won his fourth Classic Physique Mr. Olympia, and Ramon Dino shot up into that second place uh, from last year, where he was a few spots lower as well. So let's go pose by pose and compare these two because when you see still shots, sometimes you can see it being a little bit closer than it actually is. But when you get to see the video, you get to see a better comparison, especially in 8K as well. And we'll compare the last year's version of Chris Bumstead to this year's and see if there's an actual bicep injury there or not. So you can see here on the front, double bicep. As I mentioned on the left, Chris Bumstead looks very, very impressive. And I mentioned that bicep injury. Now that left bicep, you can see it on the right-hand side of the screen, well, not the right-hand side of the screen, but on his right bicep, if you're looking at it. Now you can see the swelling. It's, it's pretty obvious when you compare it to his right biceps. Now his biceps haven't been perfectly symmetrical as you guys can see here, but when you compare that left bicep of his um, to last year, there is noticeably no cut that's going up into it like it is in 2021. There's this general swelling. You can see that lump that's just on the inside of his elbow um, last year. And you can see that's more defined. You know, it's just a muscle that's sort of built up there. And this year, it was definitely blurry, which shows like water and inflammation in that area. So I'm guessing that Chris Bumstead had a bicep injury occur close to this Mr. Olympia. And it definitely affected him. People talked about it and then people were saying, no, it's not an issue. And Chris almost, uh, I think he posted a photo almost uh, basically saying like, yeah, I've got a bicep injury or whatever. But it definitely looks to me like he actually does. But regardless of that, let's compare him to Ramon Dino because I don't think this bicep injury is as much of an issue compared to what it would be like on some guys. So let's look at that front double bicep once again. So when you compare these two guys, so Ramon is moving a lot as that pose is going on. And that was one thing that I really noticed with Ramon on stage as well because he was almost moving nonstop. Like he never really hit the poses and just held them solidly. And it was very distracting. Like for me, even watching it and judging it, it became distracting. So on this front double bicep, I would have C-Bum winning this regardless. Now this is one of the closer poses because from the waist down, the quads are very nicely shaped of Ramon. And you can see C-Bums are a little bit different and his quads even vary. They're not perfectly symmetrical from quad to quad. I mean, no one's perfectly symmetrical, but his are a little bit less than some guys. You can see how that middle part of his quad is definitely different on the right quad than the left. But overall, this pose just works for him because you look at that waist and how the lats pop out and just how the overall structure is in the silhouette. Now, Ramon's good, but that waist to lat ratio is just not as much as C-bums and it's a lot longer too. Um, now, Ramon has tremendous arms, but I just feel like he doesn't pose them properly. He's pulling his scapula back, he's pulling his elbows back, and I feel like he'd get another inch on each lat, on each side of his lats if he just posed it and pushed his elbows as far out to the side as possible. But overall, it is a very impressive pose. And considering he's not posing 100% spot on, I think it's a very, very good pose for Ramon Dino. But I have Seabum winning that one, even with what I think is some sort of a torn bicep or a bicep injury. Now, as I move into this side chest, this is a very, very impressive pose for Ramon Dino. I'll start there firstly. But when you compare it to Chris Bumstead, that is now, I believe, Chris Bumstead's strongest pose. I believe it was his lat spread, even though they don't do that as a mandatory in the classic. This is now, I believe, Chris Bumstead's strongest pose. He is cut from stone on that one. You look at the details through the chest, it's just such an impressive pose. And while Ramon might have the roundness and the bubbliness and that such impressive look and great calves, and he's really missing nothing on this shot, um, you still have to give it to Seabum because he's absolute granite on this one. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think Seabum wins that side chest or do you have Ramon? Now, as we move into the back double bicep, you can see Chris Bumstead just gave a little bit of love there to Ramon um, and uh, Steve Weinberg, the head judge, 
said no touching straight away. And then on the back double bicep. Now, this is a shot where I believe that Ramon, you could potentially have him winning this shot because it is very, very impressive. But just because of the posing and the posing alone, I have Chris Bumstead winning this one, but it is much closer when they turn to the back because when you look at Ramon here, those glutes are all the way in. The hammies are tight. They're not as bubbly and sort of as round in, in a weird sort of a way as Chris Bumstead's because Chris actually has, I think, that hamstring injury as well, which sort of looks good, to be honest. Like it looks like, you know, even though that muscle is shortened, I think it in a way looks good and it just looks like that's how the muscles for some reason naturally meant to be. Um, so that doesn't work against him. Like when you compare it to like a Hunter Labrada torn pec, it's a, it's a big difference there. But I just say that Chris in overall structure and when I was watching his live, and where you see how wide he goes across his back at the top and how thick those traps are and how wide the shoulders and shoulder to waist ratio. So while that back double bicep is a great pose for a moan, I still believe that uh, Chris Bumstead just narrowly wins that back double. Now, as they move into the ab and thigh, let's see who wins this one. So Ramon straight away, he's looking down at himself and it just takes away straight away from that pose. And see Bum, you can see there, heads up, looking confident and you can see the difference and how that looks. And Ramon is just very fidgety, always moving. So let's watch that again quickly when they go into it. It's just a level of professionalism from Chris Bumstead, the way he holds it. And he's very deliberate and direct about all his movements with his posing. And that adds so much to his physique and his overall just stage presentation. Now their favorite classic poses. Now these can be obviously interpreted, I suppose, a million different ways. And it's kind of come down to what you like and who looks best in those shots. Now Ramon hits that sort of crucifix pose there and Seabum actually goes into the hand on hip with the one bicep pose which I was actually surprised with because that is the injured bicep I thought he might change it up this year with that injury but you can still see the pose flows amazingly well it looks granite it looks classic it's just absolutely everything and then Ramon as you can see going into that twisting bicep shot and then he's doing it right against Seabum at Seabum's all-time best, in my opinion. His glutes are absolute granite Seabum. And they look more developed in past years as well. They just look more etched out. So working with Honey Rambot, it obviously worked very, very well for him. And this is a good pose for Ramon too, but Seabum hits it with a certain level of um, authority. And it's just a better pose, I'd say, overall on Seabum. So Ramon hitting that one, I don't think it's uh, his best shot. I mean, he hits a few crab most muscular, so... I think he just needs to get a lot better with posing. I think Ramon can end up winning some shots, but so far I have, uh, well, overall, I have Chris winning every single shot, but only just. I wish they hit a few more of these other shots in the Classic as well. I think it's time to make that expansion, but I don't know if it will happen because of all the time restraints with contests now, because I don't think we're going to do something to add more poses in to actually make the contest last longer. Although the Classic is, in my opinion, uh, the second most popular class in the IFB Pro League right now. Um, going by the numbers uh, that I get, it definitely is uh, the second most popular after Open Pro Men's Bodybuilding. But let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Shout out to Gilco Productions on the 8K footage. Obviously, it's not 8K going up here, but it was shot in 8K and it looks absolutely fantastic. And he's got a ton of stuff on his Instagram as well. So make sure you check out Gilco Productions. He's got Chris Bumstead's acceptance speech. Uh, he's got the awards, all that sort of stuff. And he's got it across all categories as well. So make sure you check out his Instagram. The link is in the description below to that as well. So that's it for this one, guys. If you like and appreciate this content, give the video a thumbs up, smash that like button, also subscribe and hit the notification bell button. That way you'll be notified of every video that goes up for myself, Xavier Wills at Desktop Bodybuilding. So that's it for me. This is Desktop Bodybuilding. I'm Xavier Wills and we are out.